So here's the thing, you men out there that like to keep creeping, that like to keep running the streets, messing with these alley cats. I was told to tell this story. Um, a wife contacted me and said, hey, I need for you to tell my story to let other women and men out there know what's going on. I'm not going to say her name. I'm not going to say what city and state she live in. Here's the story. And before, before I even give y'all the story, um, email me. If y'all want me to tell y'all story and leave your name out of it, let me know. And I'll do it just like I'm doing right here. This is exactly how it'll, it'll be. Also, on my podcast channel, that's below. Um, email me if y'all want to talk about zombies, the supernatural, aliens, hood stories, prison stories, whatever stories y'all want to talk about. Write me in my email and let me know. And that's for the podcast channel. But you have to have stream yard also. All right, let's get to it. Oh, oh one last thing. Sorry, y'all. Um, I started a channel called the uncensored bible the bible uncensored okay so y'all check that out subscribe to that channel too that's for the people that like when i talk about the bible but let's get to it now so the woman says that she was eight months pregnant and she says that something just felt not right down there and she's married she says she never um had any yeast infection. She said she never had uh, no smelly smells down there. She said her pH balance always was great, right? She's been married to this man for eight years now, okay? So she said that, you know, something just wasn't right. So she said, maybe it's just a pregnancy. I, I don't know. So she said she waited a day. Then she said she looked down there and something just didn't look right. So she said, let me let me go to the doctors. So she go to her family doctor, and I don't know what it's called, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, Indy, Scopiacha, I don't know, whatever it is. So the doctor put her on the uh, thing, open the legs, and he look at it there, and he takes some samples. So she said, what, what, what's going on? Is the baby okay? Yeah, the baby okay. So, he say, um, you're married, right? Yeah. Um, do you, are y'all, well, I, I don't know, I'll be back. She's like, what, doctor? What? Uh, let's, give me a minute. So he leaves out, come back 30 minutes. Y'all know how they do it. And he say, uh, well, just off of visual, um, did you know that you had herpes? Huh? Yeah, you, you. You got herpes. No, are you sure, Doc? No, I'm positive. You, you I mean, we have to run the test. The test got to run back, come back. But you, you, you got herpes. So she like that. That can't be. I only been with one person. He said, "Well, you know, it could have. You know, everybody has herpes, but um." It's the type of herpes you got. You have genital genital warts. You have genital herpes. Um, everybody don't got that, you know. And sometimes, you know, the herpes virus can lay dormant for years. So, uh, but she's like, but I've only been with one man. Even before that, I mean, been with somebody when I was 15, but that was one time when, he, when I lost my virginity. But then I met my husband when I was 17, and we've been together, then we've been together for these eight years. Like, no, I, then she got, she was like, well, he, so the doctor was like, well, do you think he has been out here doing something? She was like, I don't, I don't know, because he works so much, he's a truck driver, he, that motherfucker, right? Yeah. So let me tell y'all what her husband been doing. Hold on, y'all.
what husband been doing, he been tricking. Yeah, big tricking. You know them um, lot lizards? They call them lot lizards. When he go to them truck stops and them ladies of the night come knocking on his door. Yeah, come on in, baby. That's what he was doing. Yeah, he was messing with them lot lizards. Um, and he ended up giving his wife herpes. And she's eight months pregnant. <laughs> she said when he got home, because he was out in Colorado. I can't tell y'all where he was coming to. But when he got home, she said that he said he was, she, he, he came in the house. She walked up to him. She was like, um, so how you doing? He like, I'm good, baby. What's going on? He tried to kiss her on her lips and she pulled back. He like, hey, baby, what's going on with you? She was like, well, you know, I went to the doctor today and um, he said, the baby okay? Yeah, the baby okay, but I got herpes. And he like, wait, what'd you say? I got herpes. And he was like, how did that happen? Well, well, you was only cheating or something? She said, let me see you. He like, huh? She said, let me see you. So he was like, man, girl, stop playing. So she got to go, go and like unzipping him and try to pull his pants down. And let me tell you all something. He had an outbreak. He been had it. His whole plan, his whole plan was to if it came out, he was just going to blame her dirty, dirty dog. Now, to be fair, y'all, to be fair, this woman reached out to me. I know there's two sides to every story. I, I get that. But the way I'm weighing it, she was in the right. He was out there messing with them lot lizards. And he ended up catching something and giving it to her. Well, anyway, when she got to pulling out his pants, she finally got to pull them down all the way because he didn't want to hurt the baby because he kept trying to push her away, but he couldn't push her, push her because she was pregnant. He had some restraint about himself. But, boom, there it go. Herped up. <clears throat> um, Lady out there, I'm sorry for your situation of what happened. And yes, y'all, she did divorce him. And no, the baby do not got herpes. She had to get a C-section just in case. See, the baby can't go through the birthing canal because there was a chance that it can get the virus. So she had to get a C-section. She could have had a natural birth. He deprived her. She wanted a natural birth, but Due to him being nasty out here in these streets and these parking lots in that truck, well, he deprived her of that natural birth. She had to get a C-section so the baby didn't contract the virus. <laughs> that reminds me of something, y'all. When you get married, don't get married for the wrong reasons. And what I mean by the wrong reasons, don't marry somebody for money. Don't marry them because of their looks. Don't marry them off of vanity things, you know, off of material things. Because beauty eventually fades. Materials come and they go. Money comes and go. When you marry somebody... Make sure it's because you love them and want to be with them forever. Um, for you men out there, all men don't cheat. They don't. 95% of men do cheat. So that's like the mass majority. But some men do keep it at home. Some men do respect and love they woman. For them not to go out there and play Russian roulette of coming back home giving a woman something that they that she can't get rid of. Some men out there love their woman so much that they would never subject their woman to that type of tyranny. Keep it at home, man. 
Y'all don't know what's out there, man. But hey, if that's how you rock and that's how you roll, don't get married, man. Just don't. If you know you ain't ready to settle down and be with one woman, that's stay single. Stop playing yourself. Because in the end, man, I can go on and on. But my time is short right now, y'all. This is the Dante Show. I need for y'all to hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and lean on the cash app for me one time. I don't care if it's a dollar. I don't care if it's $10,000. It don't matter to me. But lean on the cash app just a little bit for me. I'm out.